Okay, so we've got, or I've got everything working against me today. This is the second time I'm filming this because the first time I rushed through it in like nine minutes and it was awful. Um, and I don't like rushing through videos. <laughs> it's just not, I don't, I just, it doesn't, it's not enjoyable. Um, and then today, for some reason, I decided I want to try uh, green eyeshadow and I don't like the way that it looks. So let's just hope it doesn't look as bad on camera as I think it does on my face and just try to move past it. So um, today what I'm going to be doing again is um, telling you guys for the first time, but to myself for the second time, the March Art of Organics box. Um, I'm actually really excited to tell you guys about this box. I have been really, really enjoying these products. It's the second time that we're seeing this brand in a subscription box, not in Art of Organics, but just in a subscription box. Lux Botanics was featured in Perlesque in February, and um, that was their Brightening Camo Serum and their Camo Mist, so their Brightening Mist and Serum, and I've really been enjoying those products. The mist um, has a very aggressive scent, I would say, um, but I'm enjoying both of those products um, regardless of the scent. And this month, um, we're actually seeing two cleanser products or the two cleanser products. I think these are the only cleanser products they have um, from Lux Botanics. The Marula Hydrating Pre-Cleanser and the Camu Brightening Cleanser. So um, if you subscribe to Prolesque, this would be a great addition to that box because you'd be getting to try more from the line. And if you didn't, um, I think this is even like a great introduction to the brand because these are actually really, really great products. I'm liking these a lot more than the two that I got in Perlesque, but I think that they make um, just a great, a great addition or a great introduction if you've never tried them before. So this is a two-step cleansing process. The pre-cleanser, which is an oil cleanser, and the Camu Brightening Cleanser, which is more of a cream-like consistency. I'm going to try to attempt to film a demo, even though we all know what it looks like to wash your face and <laughs> remove makeup with an oil cleanser and a bright, or a, 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 a like a lotion-y lotion type cleanser, like a, yeah, I guess a, like a lotion or cream cleanser. But um, I'm gonna try to add those in. So let's talk about the pre-cleanse first. So this is the Marula Hydrating Pre-Cleanse. These are both full-size products. The pre-cleanse is $55. And this is described as soft, silky textures of marula enriched with jojoba and rosehip oils. Gently dissolve makeup, excess oil, and other pore-clogging particles. Lux Botanics Marula Hydrating Pre-Cleanser gently but thoroughly removes dirt, pollution, and other impurities. Detoxing skin without disrupting the, natural, uh, the delicate natural lipid barrier. It infuses skin with a surge of botanical hydration for a smooth, radiant complexion. Perfect on its own or as the first step of a double cleansing ritual, ideal for all skin types. And especially if you've got, um, especially dry skin, I think you'll actually really love both because even after using both um, the oil cleanser and the brightening cleanser second, my skin is actually very hydrated and very nourished when I use these. So I actually like to use the two of these together. I don't like to use either one separately on their own. I think they make like a really great pair and your skin just sort of like drinks in all of the oils and the uh, the nutrients from the, the two cleansers. So this is made with marula, jojoba, rosehip, black currant, red grapefruit, um, lavender, and lime, tangerine, um, that's basically it. Um, so scent wise, it's very citrusy. It is, it's like, it's, I, I, I find all of the scents from the Lux Botanics, um, from the Lux Botanics to be a little bit on the aggressive side scent wise, but it's all like essential oils. So it's not like fragrance or anything like that, but it's, it is more, I think if you've got more like sensitive skin or you're sensitive to scents, um, just be like wary if you try anything because they are sort of, in my opinion, like aggressively scented. scented. Not anything like uh, Mahalo. Mahalo is very, very, very highly scented, um, but they are sort of like in that sort of like realm. It's almost sort of like, like cleaner, cleaner-esque. Like if you have, you've got like, um, like natural based cleaners, a lot of them, a lot of time they'll smell like this. And it's, I think they use the same like pink grapefruit, like lemon, lime, sort of citrusy notes. Um, so you'll get a lot of the same scent profile. So I love to use this, you know, the same way that I use all my other oil cleansers. This one is not a water soluble one, at least not that I've experienced it. 
It does say that you can um, rinse it with warm water, but I, I didn't find that that did anything. Um, so I rubbed it onto dry skin. Typically when I wear eye makeup, I will remove my eye makeup first. If I'm wearing just mascara, I don't. I will just use like a regular oil cleanser like this. But if I'm wearing like liner and the whole deal, um, then I will uh, remove my eye makeup first and then go in with this cleanser. But if I'm just wearing mascara, it removes it all perfectly fine. So I actually really enjoy this. It's a really nice like silky and it's light. Um, and I like to remove it with a warm washcloth. I like to do that with most oil cleansers anyway. And it just leaves the skin very soft and um, I'm really, really enjoying it. You can, I believe, use this as sort of like a dry oil cleanse. I've seen a lot of people do that with oil cleansers in general. They'll rub it on their face and then sort of like wipe it off with a dry cloth. I've never tried that. And uh, I don't know, I don't know that how that would get off makeup that well. But if you're using like a two-step um, I guess it could because you're just sort of removing the oil first and then you're going in with a second cleanse to sort of remove the rest of the makeup, which you'll remove with water. But I like cleansing my face with water. I don't really find any issues with that. It doesn't like over dry my skin or it doesn't like strip or anything like that. So um, this is the first cleanse. Really enjoying that. And then the second cleanse is the, the Camu Brightening Cleanser, which is a $45 value. So this one is a smooth, lightweight cream cleanser formulated to deeply remove dirt, excess oil, and other impurities while gently refreshing and purifying skin. Camu Camu and green tea extracts brighten and refine tone while coconut oil, chamomile, and cucumber calm and soothe, leaving skin radiant and nourished. Infused with vitamin C rich Camu Camu to brighten and even out skin tone. This anti-inflammatory superfood calms irritation and redness, thoroughly cleanses the skin and detoxifies pores of clogging particles and is ideal for all skin types. Um, so it's got the Camu Camu, um, Japanese green tea, coconut oil, chamomile, cucumber, rosewood, neroli, myrrh, blue cypress, rose absolute, um, sage, cedar wood, patchouli, palm rosa, German chamomile. Um, so yeah, the scent on this one is a little bit lighter. Um, it's more, let's see. I definitely smell the neroli. It does have like a little bit of a citrus undertone, which I guess is just the neroli. I do smell the chamomile in here as well. I really like it. So compared to the oil cleanser, this is more of like a light, a light fragrance, but it is still, if you're like sensitive to fragrance, it is still, it does still have like a pretty noticeable scent. Um, so again, after you remove the pre-cleanser, or if you want to do this one on your own, um, just massage a few pumps under moist skin and uh, face and neck, and then rinse with warm water. And I find that when you do together, um, it does, this one like really hydrates the skin, and this one sort of more like purifies and detoxifies, but doesn't like cancel out um, the nourishing qualities and the hydrating properties of the Marula cleanser. They work very like synergistically together where they complement each other and you get the effects of both without one overriding the other one where sometimes I find that that can happen with certain cleansers that I've used where if you use an oil cleanser first the like sort of second cleanse that you use overrides the first cleanse. It's definitely nice when two separate cleansers work really well together and really complement each other to support your skin type. So I'm really enjoying these products. If you're looking for some new cleansing products to try, these are two really great ones actually. Um, I'm really enjoying the formulas. They're nice big sizes. They're four ounces, so they'll last you quite a while. Uh, it's, it's a good first and second cleanser step. Remove your makeup and then sort of cleanse and detox your face without stripping it, um, without drawing it out. Uh, it's just very nourishing and hydrating and yeah, just really great. And it's a great addition to the brightening serum and the mist, like I said. And I have heard um, that there could possibly, we could possibly be seeing Lux Botanics a third time this year in another subscription box. <laughs> um, hopefully we see some moisturizing products from Lux Botanics because I would love one of their moisturizers or, you know, one of their more hydrating serums or something like that because um, I, I like the products. I think they're really great. The uh, owner is a South African biotechnologist, and her belief is uh, in the remarkable intersection between science and nature. She was raised in South Africa um, and has a deep comprehension of nature's healing abilities and is guided by her philosophy of allowing nature to nurture. After a decade of working on international clinical trials, 
Um, she blends her African roots, scientific proficiency, and passion for socially conscious innovation to create the definitive mindful skincare ritual. So, like I said, I've really been enjoying the products. I love the uh, the print this month too. It's just so pretty. Um, if you didn't, if you haven't seen my the picture that I took on Instagram. Uh, for this box. I love it. Um, I went out in the snow in Flagstaff and like took a bunch of pictures in the snow and I, I took these in the snow with the little card and I just love the way that it came out. But let me know what you thought. Have you tried anything from Lux Botanics? They're a relatively new brand. I hadn't heard about them I think until the Indie Beauty Expo in uh, August of New York last year. I think. I don't know if they launched at the Indie Beauty Expo or if they were just really really new. Um, but I hadn't heard about them before that, and um, I actually met the owner, I think, at the Beauty Heroes party. I think, like, it was the day before the show I got to meet her. So it's nice to finally get to, you know, try um, a lot of her products. Her range is pretty, um, I guess I would consider tightly edited. It's got a couple of cleansers. It has one mist. Um, it's got one sort of, like, lotion-y serum, but then it has, like, three, I believe, oil serums, or maybe it's two oil serums and then the lotion-y type serum. And then it's got two moisturizers, so it's it's pretty it's pretty small range. I don't know if they're planning on adding to it, but I do love um, the products that I've tried, and I'm I'm especially interested in trying a lot more of like the moisturizing products from the line because I think they would be actually a really great addition to the um, to the cleansers, especially because the cleansers um, are so hydrating and like nourishing to the skin. So I can only imagine you know how nice the moisturizers are. So I hope that this was helpful. Let me know what you guys think if you have picked up this box and uh, tried it yet and what you think. I believe your boxes uh, should be hitting your doors sometime soon. If um, you subscribe and you haven't gotten your boxes yet, you should um, you should be getting them soon. So I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next one.